Hi, and welcome to TCI. My name is Josh, and today in our lab, I'm going to show you a few demonstrations on TCI's motor shield. The motor shield is an output sine wave filter designed to prolong the life of both cabling and motors. Today, I will show you the ease and simplicity of installing the motor shield on a VFD on a single motor configuration. Once we're hooked up, I will then show you a live motor voltage input waveform, both with and without the motor shield applied. And lastly, I will show a test on noise reduction at the motor with the motor shield. Now let's show how simple the motor shield is to install. Before doing any work, always make sure that your system is de-energized. And with the cover of the enclosure already removed, you can see the exposed reactor, capacitors, and terminal block. The inputs of the motor shield are labeled U, V, and W, and the outputs labeled T1, T2, and T3. During installation, make sure that you always connect your ground wire, which you can use a flathead screwdriver to do. All torque specifications can be found in the user manual of the motor shield, or also online at transcoil.com. For ease of viewing, I'll connect the outputs first, going in ascending order, starting with my C phase, which is the yellow wire. That goes into T3. Now that the motor shield has been properly installed to our system, we can start the VFD and see the motor input voltage waveform. We can compare this to a waveform of the same application but without the motor shield installed. We have two voltage waveforms here. The blue waveform is the square wave drive output and the yellow is the motor shield output waveform. You can see the motor shield filters the DVT voltage spikes and turns the motor input into a near sinusoidal waveform. If we now look at the Fourier transform and linear RMS voltage, you can see the harmonic content at the fundamental and carrier frequencies. But the waveform after the filter shows the harmonic content has been eliminated, which will help your motor run more effectively. Now we can take a look at how the motor shield benefits the reduction of motor noise. Without the motor shield, the meter shows a reading of about 96 and a half decibels. But if we look at the meter again with the motor shield applied, we can see about a 5 decibel reduction in motor noise. This comes in at about 91 decibels. For more information on the motor shield and all of TCI's products, please visit transcoil.com.